Thanksgiving is a beloved American holiday celebrated for centuries. But did the tradition really start with the pilgrims, or earlier? Two years before Plymouth Rock, along the banks of the James River, there was Berkeley, where history comes to life. When I was a boy, I started hearing about Berkeley Plantation and Captain John Woodleaf and how he came over from England. There were four gentlemen that, that met in London in 1618 uh, to try to develop a, a trip across the Atlantic to, to the New World. Uh, they wanted to set up a Virginia colony here at Berkeley 100. And they had been given a grant of 8,000 acres in the Virginia colony uh, by the King, King James at the time, uh, and three miles of waterfront. They wanted to establish a settlement in order to produce crops and goods to ship back to England and become a profit-making venture here. There were 38 men on a ship that was 35 feet long and weighed 47 tons. They sailed for two and a half months across the Atlantic Ocean and landed here at Berkeley Plantation on December the 4th, 1619. And uh, orders from London held the first Thanksgiving in America. They were told by the London Company once they arrived at the Berkeley site uh, to kneel and pray and give thanks for their safe passage and to do that perpetually, uh, annually from that point on, which, which they did uh, until the Indian Massacre of 1622. Berkeley Plantation has been a continuous part of America's history since its settlement. Once a successful tobacco plantation, it was also the first commercial shipyard on the James River. It's home to two U.S. presidents, William Henry Harrison and Benjamin Harrison. During the Civil War, it was a significant military encampment where the familiar tune, Taps, was composed and first played. Over the next 75 years, the plantation changed hands numerous times and was forgotten. Then, John Jameson, a former Union drummer boy, purchased the plantation for its timber. The house was in ruins, uh, they, beyond fixing, everyone said. The restoration, all of this, what you see today, is entirely due to my parents. They spent the, the 70, 80 years of their lives really doing it for Virginia and doing it for the American people and the world. We really consider ourselves not uh, the owners of Berkeley, but we consider ourselves the stewards, the, the keepers of this place that has so much history. In 1931 by Dr. Lyon Tyler, he accidentally uncovered the Nibley papers at the New York Public, Public Library. But they were the English, the log of the ship's Margaret's log. And this document documented the trip over from England uh, to the Berkeley site, uh, as well as the uh, enactment of Thanksgiving that was held here. There it was, and it was a huge surprise. No one knew that, that uh, America's first Virginia, uh, first Thanksgiving was here and in Virginia. Beginning 1958, the Jameson family invited the Woodley family to the plantation uh, to observe uh, the Thanksgiving, and then it grew into more of a festival. Senator John J. Wicker was very instrumental in uh, promoting the festival and the fact that the first Thanksgiving was held in Virginia. On November 5, 1963, President Kennedy's presidential thanks proclamation for Thanksgiving for the next year actually stated that Virginia and Massachusetts were sites of Thanksgiving, and, but he did recognize Virginia and he put it first before uh, he did Massachusetts, which uh, I think gave Virginia its rightful place in history. The mission of our organization, the Virginia Thanksgiving Festival, is to educate the public uh, in the historical significance of the first Thanksgiving in America. This is not something that our family's done. Uh, we've always been involved, but these people, uh, Virginians, who care about Virginia and care about its history, and hopefully the American people will come here and and have a good day and learn a little history with their family and, and experience this beautiful setting on the James River. If I may be so bold, I'd like to wish uh, all of America a uh, happy Thanksgiving from the place it really did first occur. <laughs>